Now, I know you're all expecting that cheap electric cars made by Chinese car companies are going to flood the car market all around the world within the next five years. And that is true. But I don't think you're expecting this. Cheap electric cars made by Western car companies, Tesla, Volkswagen, Seat, Cupra, and BMW, and many more will be made in China and then sold all around the world at prices that will be lower than their competitors. That includes as well, General Motors. Now Tesla for one plans on manufacturing millions and millions. In fact, I believe at least two to three million affordable electric cars in China and selling them all around the world within the next five years. So the market won't only be flooded by cheap Chinese EVs or affordable Chinese EVs made by Chinese car companies, but also by cars made by Chinese car companies in China and then branded and sold as Western vehicles. Many consumers will have no idea that this is happening. An expensive, to be fair in relative terms, it is expensive, electric vehicle will be the world's fourth best-selling car, fourth best-selling car in 2022. No one noticed this, but as electric car sales have exploded this year, Tesla has been heavily criticized. However, it's actually still leading the world by a significant margin when it comes to electric vehicle sales and even production. Here's the truth. Let's actually have a look at the facts. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. Great to see you. And thank you to our Patreon supporters and also, of course, our YouTube members. Both of you really help kick the lights on. Yeah, there's two lights here. One light there, one light there, one light over here. Got some more new lights coming. Been told my background can be improved. It will be. That's coming. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to see what I'm going to do. It's going to be crazy. Well, I think it's going to be a big improvement. And I'm all about improvements. I'm all about improving production of electric cars. And I think the media right now are confusing people. They're making people think that Tesla's vehicle sales are going down. Electric vehicle sales are not really going up. Actually, that's nonsense. Let's have a look at the world's best-selling cars. Now, when we consider the fact that, in fact, probably the fourth and sixth best-selling cars in the world this year will be Tesla vehicles, it's worth thinking, hang on a minute, are things really going so bad for Tesla? No, nah, well, the facts actually are very different to what the media is telling you. Now, you have to question the media. What is their role in this? Why are they trying to paint out Tesla's doom and disaster? Is this true? Why, what's their motive for all of this? I think you can work that out. I think a lot of you know what their motives are. Where does their money come from? Who pays for them to keep their lights on right and left if they have any lights right and left, which I'm sure they have hundreds of them? Who pays for their studios? Who pays for their expensive buildings, their office buildings? Who pays for their thousands of staff? Yeah, you guessed it. Oil companies and companies who directly compete against Tesla. To be fair, everything I just said then is purely objective. It's not emotional. It's not me being a fan. It's simply pointing out the obvious. Their business model entirely depends upon keeping gasoline cars for sale as long as is humanly possible because the reality is, uh, you know, Volkswagen, GM, Ford, Toyota, all these car companies, really no more than 7% of their current production worldwide is electric. That is pretty abysmal when you consider the fact that for years now, the Tesla killers were coming. There are no Tesla killers. There's some strong competition, but it's not coming from any Western car companies. It's only really coming from BYD. Last year, the best-selling car in the world was the Toyota RAV4, called the Wild Lander in some countries. 1.1 million were sold. That was an increase of 6% over the previous year. Second place was the Toyota Corolla with 1.1 million. Third was the Honda CRV Breeze with 900,000. And fourth was the Nissan Sentra and Sylphie. Now it's worth pointing out, Honda and Nissan sales globally this year have gone <coughs> down. They have, it's true. Have a look at them. What's happened in China? Yeah, not too bad. They are about to be disrupted in China though. That's coming, I can tell you now. But what about in the United States? Honda and Nissan sales down the toilet. 
people really, they're not that keen on them anymore, especially Honda. They've lost 40% in sales this year. It should have been a rebound year for them after a COVID year the year before, but it wasn't. So number fourth best-selling car in the world last year, 690,000 Nissan, Sentra, and Silphys. Honda CRV Breeze sold 900,000. Well, clearly Tesla will sell more than 700,000 Model Ys globally this year. So will it take fourth place or will it take third? It's going to be one of them. That will mean an electric car, one that is really relatively expensive in comparison to the vehicles in this list, aside from the RAV4, will actually one of the best-selling vehicles in the world. And it won't be a BYD, my friends. Although BYD are doing incredibly well, it will be a Tesla. Now, I should point out, I am not biased in this. I actually picked up my BYD electric car today. I'll have a video coming all about that car, the good, the bad, there's definitely some good. There's definitely some bad. There's no way of saying that other than to put it that way because truthfully, the car is it has some pretty significant flaws. Driving at home was it was doing my head in. It was really frustrating. But the car did drive really nicely and it is affordable. So I've got to focus on the positives there. That video will be coming soon. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel to make sure you see that video about my experience with that car. And also I want to use that car to charge my other Chinese EV. Plus, of course, once the M3P batteries come out in the Tesla vehicles, I'm going to be the first one to order one of those. I'll be down in a second and I'll be testing that thing to see what they're like too. Best selling cars in the world this year that are electric while electric and plug-in hybrids, from January to October, Tesla Model Y, 570,000 sales. I think we're easily going to see another, another 130,000 sold over the last final two months of this year, especially based on the sales we've seen in China with more than 100,000 vehicles produced there in November. Second place worldwide is the Tesla Model 3 with 365,000. Third, the Wuling Hongwan Mini EV with 357,000. So that's a 33% General Motors joint venture. So I think Mary Barra is going to say that GM is leading the world when it comes to electrification because they make, well, they own 33% of that business selling the Wuling Hongwa Mini EV. But I should point out, they just released a new electric car. It's actually called the Wuling Air. It's um, similar, but a little bit bigger than the Hongwa Mini EV. And it's more expensive, but it will be their global car. They plan on selling that car in many markets around the world. It's already gone on sale in Indonesia, some other countries in Southeast Asia, Cambodia, etc. That's gonna sell like crazy. That probably will be the best selling car in the world within the next four to five years. That's my guess anyway, simply because it's so affordable. Fourth, BYD Song Plus, BEV and plug-in hybrid with 342,000. The BYD Chin Plus with 300 with 266,000 came in fifth. The BYD Han came in in sixth place. That vehicle is an electric car and a plug-in hybrid, 211,000 sales. BYD Dolphin, fully electric. Now this is the only fully electric car that BYD have, which is in the top seven vehicles. The seventh place, 153,000 BYD Dolphins have been sold this year. This will be one of the best selling cars in the world. Probably will actually crack the top 10 in terms of vehicle sales worldwide, whether regardless of powertrain in 2023. They're ramping production of that car. It's affordable. It's the right size car for Europe. It's going to sell so, so well. They're going to be on sale in Australia and New Zealand next year. How many will they have for Western markets next year? I predict not that many because demand will be massive. And also remember, BYD have already announced they now sell cars in, I don't know, 50 different countries around the world. So you've got to account for the fact that BYD is going to have to be, you know, giving a little bit of market share for every country that gets these EVs. Yen Plus came in in eighth place. That's the vehicle that I just picked up with 144,000 vehicles. And then in ninth was the Volkswagen ID4 with 130,000. BYD Tang in 10th place, combination of plug-in hybrids and fully electric cars, 111 sales worldwide. As you can see here, BYD dominates this list, but it's not really fair to say they're therefore dominating Tesla because they're not. Frankly, more than 50% of BYD's current vehicle sales are plug-in hybrids. If you're watching this channel, you'll be aware of the fact that plug-in hybrids are decreasing in popularity everywhere outside of China worldwide. Every Western car country, plug-in hybrids are decreasing in market share. Well, nearly everyone anyway. That will be the trend of the future. Therefore, BYD will have to adapt to that. That will take a lot of work. Technically, BYD is still producing combustion-powered vehicles. More than 50% of BYD's vehicles technically 
still have an engine in them. They still have an exhaust pipe. They're still predominantly a gasoline powered car. Remember, a plug-in hybrid, what does it do when it's done at 150 kilometers of range, if that, or 100? What does it do? It basically is a gasoline powered car. So technically, is BYD dominating Tesla? No, it is if you want to feel that way. If you like have your emotions set on BYD being your hate Tesla, if you want to feel that way, then you can say that. But if you want to be objective about this, then technically Tesla is clearly well and truly miles ahead of BYD when it comes to the vehicle of the future. Now, clearly you can see this here has a screen, doesn't it? It's got a digital screen, right? Imagine if you could touch that. That's what a, that's what a plug-in hybrid would be. It'd have all these buttons here, right? It'd still have a screen, be digital, but would that be the, the would that be the product of the future? Would this be a product that people would buy when they can have one of these for the same price? No, come on. If you get one of these for the same price, that does everything, pretty much everything better than that, then you're gonna choose that. That's why people, when subsidies disappear for plug-in hybrids, they choose an electric car. When electric cars are affordable like they are in China, they start to move away. Remember, in China, only 15% of all new energy vehicles sold are plug-in hybrids. 85% are fully electric, 85%. So BYD will have to start moving away from those plug-in hybrids once those sales start to dry up, which they eventually will, and they'll have to start producing more purely electric cars. They'll have to take that market share, and that will be a fight. They'll be fighting other car companies, and there's, there's like a hundred compelling different electric car companies in China. That will be a tough market. Now, I think BYD is very well aware of that, and that's why they're moving to export as many vehicles as possible and to aggressively go after as many countries in the world as possible. Remember, BYD, they actually have a production facility in India building electric cars. They're going after that market. They're going after Cambodia. They're going after Australia. They're going after Europe. They're going after, yeah, South America, Central America. They're really becoming a global brand. That's great. But will they be selling plug-in hybrids in those countries that I just mentioned? No. EVs. That's the future. They know it. What does all this mean? Right now, 11% of all vehicles sold worldwide, 11% are fully electric. I predict within 12 months, that will have doubled to 22%. Within three years, that will have gone up to 35% worldwide. Four years, 50%. Five years, 65%. What does that mean? 2028, we're looking at gasoline-powered vehicles holding probably, at best, 30% market share worldwide. Let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know why in the comments section. I'm keen to hear what you have to say. Global plug-in registrations were up 55% in October 2022 compared to October 2021. That's a pretty big increase, 55%. They reached 932,000 units, the best, the second best result ever. However, 70% uh, of those were produced in China. In fact, it's about 75%. Interestingly, even more were made in September, more than 1 million. In fact, 1 million and 40,000 electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids were made in September. So worldwide, in October, 16% of all vehicles produced were new energy vehicles. What does that mean? Plug-in hybrids and fully electrics. However, 11% of those, 11% were fully electric. Only 5% were plug-in hybrid. So here are the real numbers. The real numbers that I believe are giving us a true picture of what's actually going on. Tesla is the world's best-selling electric, fully electric vehicle manufacturer. Plug-in hybrids, I'm sorry, my friends, they are not BEVs. They're not. I don't care how you want to splice it. They still have an exhaust pipe. They have an engine. They have a transmission. They have literally everything, everything that goes into a gasoline-powered vehicle. They're just those vehicles with a battery pack added to the vehicle. That is not the future. Therefore, these are the real numbers this year. Tesla leads in first place with 990,000 vehicles produced. BYD is in second with a very impressive 584,000. SAIC is in third with 482,000. The Volkswagen Group is in fourth with 366,000. I need to remind you guys, that's only one third of Tesla's production. They're saying they're gonna beat Tesla in 2024. There's zero chance, exactly zero chance of that happening. Fifth place is a Hyundai Kia Group with 247,000. It's about 
a quarter of Tesla's vehicle production this year. Tesla and BYD are clearly leading the pack, but the clear, undisputed global leader in electric vehicle production this year by a mile is still Tesla. It's not BYD. The media would like you to believe it is. I own a BYD, but it's not BYD. That's what I think. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.